an introduction on how to use a Mitsubishi Electric handheld remote controller. To open up the cover, simply pull down. To access the batteries, you can give it a bit of a wiggle and eventually it'll come off. Triple A's. And then you can just squeeze it back on. Uh, to change the clock or time, you simply press the clock button at the bottom. Choose which day of the week you want and the time. And press again to set it. To switch the unit on, just simply use the on and off button. Uh, make sure in this process that you hear a beep or a recognition from the system. Um, the temperature is shown here. At the moment we've got 21. We can go down in cooling to 16 degrees and up to 31. If you find your air conditioning unit is not cooling, you could sometimes have it in the wrong mode. The first thing we have on callouts is the mode is not in the right cycle for the time of year it is. So they might be trying to get heat and bring in the temperature too high. However, it's not gonna be part of the process and offer you cold air. So just make sure you got it in the right mode, hot for winter and cool in for summer and choose your temperatures where applicable. Then you get to this display uh, the icon in the corner correlates to the, the mode button. At the moment we're in automatic. We go across then to cooling, a dehumidifier or a dry mode, heating and fan. As we go into the cooling mode, we can have the button here which is the eco no cool. Uh, this will just offer incremental uh, temperature rises through the night or just to make it a bit more efficient and running. That can be only used with cooling function. The fan boat reflects to the picture in the corner here. At the moment, this is on silence or as quiet as possible. You've got a man with his hand behind his ear and then it just works its way up one being low, two, three and four and automatic, automatic with the rotation at the top. The vane button correlates to this picture and all it's going to do once you press the button the unit the louvers themselves are going to correlate with what the picture shows and as you push down you cannot choose which way or direction the airflow is going vertically or you can have it oscillating with the arrows running across the buttons at the bottom they're there for a to set weekly timers or, or timers themselves um, this can be seen in the, in the guide to kind of change or set these up specifically. Um, and simply to turn off the unit, we're going to press the off button.